This video is going to describe how you can make different kinds of graphs using the Google Spreadsheets. All you need to do is log in under your school Google email account and then as usual click on Drive or the documents in this area here to get to your files. And I'm going to use the file for the designing an experiment um, assignment. So if we click to open that, there is um, a graph that you are needing to put in in the last part of the assignment right here. There's a sample graph that I put in that you can see there. And then you could see the highlighted part where it says insert your graph made from the Google spreadsheet here. So to do that, what you would need to do is go back to your drive and then hit the red create button and then you would simply pick spreadsheet and it will give you a blank spreadsheet um, with that you would just type your data in as I did in this sample one here here I just typed in four towels towels A B C and D you would instead type the actual names of the towels that you guys used and then underneath that I put the data the number data and notice I did not put units, I didn't put milliliters on there. So just only put the numbers for your data in the second row. Once you've done that, then what you're going to do is you're going to highlight these eight boxes. You're going to click this little button that says insert chart and then it gives you different choices of charts. Um, a bar graph is best, or, or actually sometimes called a column graph, it's going up and down to compare data. So I'm going to pick that type of graph and it gives me this here. All I need to do is label the X and Y axes. So I go to this customized choice. I'll give it a title, which was paper towel absorption. So that's the title for um, the whole graph and then I can change the color of the title, the size of the title lettering, and then I'm going to go down further to axis. The horizontal axis is the x-axis, which would be across the bottom here, so that would be my paper towel brand. And again, I could ch choose to boldface it, change the color. Then I would simply ch title my vertical, which is my y-axis, which show the numbers. And this would be where I include my um, units. So I measured in milliliters. And then I just click the insert. And then if I'm happy with the results, I would go hit I would click it to get this down arrow and put copy chart. And then I would go to my file. I would click where I want the graph to go in and then I would go to this symbol here, web clipboard. I would click on it and pick the chart that I want to include. And then once I have that, I would delete the one that was included there. And you can straighten this out by just kind of hitting this center alignment and that center is your graph that you put in. And then you can just get rid of where I put this. and then you're good to go.